one of humanity's most precious assets and one of its most abused resources, the world's oceans are under threat. Possibly the greatest challenge is the rapidly growing problem of marine plastic debris. Day after day, around the world, humans dispose of plastic in unsustainable ways, and much of this ends up in the marine environment. Throughout Southeast Asia, we have witnessed the casualties of this man-made problem. Whales, turtles, dugong and other sea creatures with so much plastic inside their systems that they can no longer survive. While there are various studies on the volume of plastic waste flowing into the oceans, the exact impact on the marine ecosystem and human health is yet to be determined. However, it is clear that adoption of the precautionary principle is necessary. In recent years, there have been many international and national initiatives designed to create a concerted effort to tackle the marine plastic debris challenge. Developing countries in Asia are regarded as the major sources of marine plastic debris. Due to the increased use of plastics as economies grow, coupled with inadequate waste disposal. Conscious that ASEAN countries are a major source of marine plastics, member states have initiated actions to reduce plastic use and tackle the issue of plastic leakage to the marine environment. Regional challenges in implementation include a lack of proper waste management facilities and a lack of enforcement of existing regulations. To support a coordinated effort to deal with the problem, AREA's Regional Knowledge Centre for Marine Plastic Debris, RKC, was established in 2019. The RKC is a clearinghouse for information on marine plastic debris in the 10 ASEAN member states, together with China, Japan and the Republic of Korea. RKC facilitates information sharing among stakeholders, raises awareness, promotes innovative actions in each country, and facilitates national and regional cooperation to solve the marine plastic debris problem. RKC's major activities include developing the foundation of a regional knowledge center by identifying focal ministries and agencies in ASEAN member states, collecting and analyzing information through reviews and sharing of good practices and policies, material flows and monitoring methodologies, best practices and innovative solutions. Knowledge sharing through developing the RKC MPD website and raising awareness and building capacity. To learn more about the Regional Knowledge Centre for Marine Plastic Debris, visit area.org.